chin. What happened to your car this morning? So real quick, sinister stereotype. This is just <sighs> life. Our two Asian employees. Yeah. One wrecked last week. The other lo- got his car stolen. Mm, yeah. I thought it was stolen. I well, really Chin did. called me this morning. Yeah. He goes, bro, I'm going to be late. My car got stolen. Oh, Take boy. it from there, Chin. Go. What happened? I didn't realize it wasn't stolen, so I actually went to the police department and filed a police report. And as I'm filing the police, because I went downstairs to the front desk and I said, my car's missing. Did you, <laughs> did anyone tow a car for whatever reason? They're like, there's no tow slips in front. I'm like, well, my car's gone. Someone stole my car. I go, make sure don't delete this footage. You know, like a 24 hour footage that runs through. Make sure don't delete it. I have to file a police report. So I call the police department, three different ones. Because LA, I guess, have different parts of LA. It's a nightmare, yeah. Right? And they said that I have to go into the to the station. So I went to the station, started filling it out. And then my apartment called me and said, they've not seen any tow trucks come in since the time I got there, right? Which is 7 p.m., 6, 6 p.m. yesterday until this morning. So then I was like, okay, what happened? And he goes, you probably parked it in the wrong area. So what happened was... We just got back from Vegas. I was super tired. Sure. My car is parked on the fifth floor of the structure. Wait, yep. And how? And you've been living there how long? Uh, how long has it been? Like six months. Okay, yeah. a little bit. five months. Carry on. Okay. okay. You've been parking. There for it's six exactly like you go through the the structure. Parked Everything's the, the same, right? They're the okay. same. So I parked on the fourth floor instead of the fifth floor uh, in the exact same space. Did you it not looks think identical. To check the other floor I, I was panicking because it was also late to work i didn't want to be late to work mm. so you you and, and you, it was still so got, stupid. And you still got it was the so headache dumb. right you still huh? got that headache you've had for two years <laughs> no two months is two your months? Pa- is your headache gone no it's it's not as bad right now but it, it's so every day i heard is actually the best movie of the year you're in it brian the joker mm. yeah game changer i did i did uh, a looping bird, for a it. I saw on the street it. told me the the word on the street is oscar I uh, I did I did uh, I saw Another some. Birdie of it. told me saw some of it might it. be the best Joker anyone's ever seen. Yeah, Heath Ledger says, "Hold my Vicky." Yeah, here I come. Well, listen, dude. What did you say? I think it's going to be iconic. Cat got okay. that. I heard it. Did you say like Vic- Vicky? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I heard it. Hold my oxycotton. Hold my. Look at that. Okay. I think someone painted that, right? No, no. That's the scene I'm in. See what he's doing there. Really? Yeah. That's an awesome scene. That looks like an awesome scene. That's the scene I'm in. Can't just, wait, dude. Uh, Just a little update on David Ortiz. Yeah. So it was six people arrested. We called it. Side yeah. piece. Yep. And it's supposed to be some sort of like really highly calculated scheme to uh, to kill him. But you know But why, they don't right? know exactly right. Yeah, you know, they do though, but the is press is being nice. Having sex with a drug dealer's girlfriend. So drug, the cartel member, he was having sex with his girl. <gasps> and then you know who at the at the hospital where they're doing surgery, Chin just found this out. Um, where I they're did. doing surgery on him, his other side piece and the cartel side piece started fighting in the hospital while his wife was on the way. Dude. Big pop. But the, but the 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 media is doing him a favor by not blasting this out. Mm. But that's pretty well known. And it was two guys. So they caught the one, right, that they're whooping his ass. Mm-hmm. The other one they caught later. And it, yeah, it was only $8,000 to kill Big Papi. Oh, well, there you go. And that remember the first guy that was getting beat up like crazy? That guy was actually just the getaway driver. The other guy took off on foot. The guy that actually shot him took that's off on him foot. That's him there right there. Yeah, that's him. David Ortiz, he's in Boston now that he's safe. Yeah, man. That's kind of crazy. Crazy, man. Definitely don't fuck cartel members' girls, though, you know? She must have been painfully idea. hot. Do we have a picture of her? If you're going to risk your <laughs> life as Big Pape, I bet she is just delicious. I have no doubt. Probably going to stay, stay low, stay out of the DR if, I, if I'm an American in general. Well, People or, are dying you know, also, night. though, there's not a lot of... Uh, you kill a national hero, a baseball hero What do you think like you do to a white gringo? Yeah, but I'm saying when you do that, it's like, you. you I, I feel like that guy, the people that tried to kill him are public enemy number one, period, to everybody. Be tough right? to get to the cartel member. Well, is he a cartel member or just a drug dealer who's he's a, car, he's a big time? Yeah, where'd you guys get this yeah. news from? The cartel stuff. Oh, Chin. Okay, <laughs> to learn. Let's uh, move on. I got it from, in fact, I, I got the, I got all of it from one of the, Hmm, what if I can say? Oh, don't say it then. If it's yeah, yeah. it's pretty well known. Somebody though. who knows, okay. yeah, well, and knows David Ortiz. Knows. Uh, name's Pedro Martinez. <laughs> All right, man. 
Just are you rolling? Yes, I'm rolling. This fucking guy comes in with a hat, sunglasses, and a gallon of water. You, uh, we got the same boots. Uh, yeah, uh, these are my bluntstones. These are my bluntstones. Okay, well, hey, it looks like we just started the new ad campaign for bluntstones. <laughs> these are my bluntstones. These are my bluntstones. You got chocolate in my bluntstones. You got right, peanut guys. butter in my bluntstones. Take it easy, guys. Good news. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Will Sasso is taking over for Brendan Schaub today. Don't just throw things I'm not. nilly it's off. I'm not. Fucking this tiny ass shit table, man. Well, don't bring a Get some real furniture. You brought this a water podcast cooler. podcast has been on the air since iPods existed. You brought- do you know that iPods don't exist anymore? Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, yeah, I do. Don't. No, don't do the bass thing. Well, I'm not doing the bass thing. This is my natural resting voice. I don't know about that. I'll tell you something. You, um... Fuck, this doesn't you brought work. A, that's a water cooler sized <laughs> yeah. container. Brian, okay. Ha, 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 ha. Everybody knows we... Uh, it's so annoying. We, we, th- that I drink a lot of water. What do you say want? to people is when they want to get healthy, I go, how many clams you eating? None? <laughs> that's your first mistake, you fucking idiot. <laughs> then they go, I'm losing my hair. I go, how many times are you washing your hair? Twice, three times a week, first mistake. Yeah. Your clog and your pores, wash your hair four times a day. Four Keep times a day. Keep your scalp super dry Keep and Keep it open. clean. That's I mean, all. You, yeah, and you'll get grow that, a shitload of, of hair. Get a can of that clam juice. You can find it near your pickled onions in your grocery store. Clam juice, pickled onions, my Massage favorite Massage that into your fucking scalp. Yep. Get to, the, get to the beach, sing some country music, and eat some clams. Massaging of clams and leaching. Speaking of Italians, when I was young, yeah. my uh, family and extended family, we would all go to the beach, and then the kids would, and the adults would dig clams and uh, you know, pick the mussels off the rocks up in British Columbia, beautiful British Columbia, oh, yeah. Canada. And then we would just, my uncle John would throw down a um, like chicken wire, like a, just a fucking yep with posts. It was awesome. Build a fire, throw down some chicken wire, just dump all the, the so so I'll shellfish do, on there. I'll do you one better. My mother, lemon. My mother, mother in mean. Italy, and a lot of people would take a break, take a lemon. Yeah, they would go and get the mussels. And the clams. And eat them raw. And eat them fucking raw My right mom there. still does it. My mom still does it. Is that it. true? Yeah. If we get clams or mussels, Ramon, Ramon, Ramon. Like, give me one. You know what I mean? Like, mom, I don't want you to, I don't want you to, you know, eat, like, we're going to make them. Oysters, she'll eat them raw. Oysters, yeah. yeah. Of course, oysters. But, but clams and mussels with a little bit of lemon. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Like, we're right Italy there in the sea. Oh, oh, yeah. I think she was in like Sicily or something. My, yeah. My, I just don't my trust. My mom grew up on the Bay of Naples and they would eat the shit right from the sea. Yeah. They'd, they'd try to get a lemon. The from problem the, with that is grocery. that that water probably ain't that clean because everybody in Italy cuts corners, so they dump all their shit. <laughs> That's true. You know what I mean? Especially like with my folks yeah, growing up in the 40s cut and 50s. Corners. You know, Brian, this is the kind of refreshing conversation that we're supposed to be having on the podcast. <laughs> I and, I, and I mean that. And a lot of your listeners have never heard you speak like that. Yeah. And they go, oh, I learned something. Right. And now they're going to go to the beach in 2019 uh, with, you know, a, with a, lemon. a lemon. And they're going to get just dysentery. Eat, yeah. And they're going to shit themselves. Uh, yeah. Clams, just eating clams willy-nilly at, the, at this beach you happen to go to, to me, not a good idea. Yeah. Eating mushrooms, not a good idea in the you, forest. Really? Yeah. Oh, in the forest. Yeah, yeah don't, don't pick do up mushrooms, just eat no, a mushroom. No, no, don't no. want to do that. No. And if you don't know what the berry is, don't put that in your mouth and eat the berry, especially if it's red yeah. or if it's orange or if it's, or if it's uh, uh, bright fi- color or if even if it's fits, orange or fits even, yellow, don't eat the berry. Or, yep, or <laughs> if it's red, <laughs> nah. if it's, if it's blue, if it's black, fits blue, you're probably all right. If it's black, probably all right. You're probably as all long right. As Long as fits, fits yellow, don't. No, no, no. But long as fits, 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 fits green. Get fits, the fuck away wait, wait. from it. Run away, fits yeah, green. Yeah. Run away, fits green. Fits pink, yep. yon different plan. Yep, 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 yep. Fits pink, yon different plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're doing, you what are, do you do? You got like a reality act, show? School act, is a reality nope, show, right? No, it's not. It's one of those when things you where you're, you're oh, it's like fucking, undercover boss where you're, you're actually nope, in shorts. Nope. A real gym nope. coach. No. Nope. Yep. You're no. Nope. Yep. No. Nope. Yep. No. Yep. No. Nope. Yes. No. You're a Let's cartoon. Go to you're a cartoon. Texas. You cry all day long. Yeah. Me, I hold it back. Yeah. I hold it back. It's always see. It's right I behind his back. fucking. This is an acting lesson. No, I hold it's it. It's three back. inches behind his face. You guys are gonna do this. Yeah. You guys are gonna go out there. <laughs> and there's a chance a couple of you guys are gonna get eaten by. Notice how he's back. talking through his nose. I remember this. That's good acting. I. I. <laughs> I can do it too. Watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> um, so, so Emerald uh, goes and man, she you had tell a little, us about the movie though. She had know. a little cry, oh, and, yeah. and and it was fucking unbelievable. I'm like, she's. 
when you see my back ripple and I pull myself up like a chimp, <laughs> like a chimp, thirty like times chimp. Bang, while talking to you, why wouldn't I give that to you as it's inspiration? It's a gift. It's a gift. Really. It's a gift. Oh,